Hello, Brian here. It is early March 2023, and uh, before the rush of spring activity starts, I am making labels for some of the cultivars that I will be grafting over this year. And I've tried a bunch of different labels. I've tried aluminum labels, I've tried uh, flexible plastic labels uh, written on with marker, uh, but the ones that I like the absolute best are made from cut up gutters, cut up vinyl gutters, uh, that are then etched with uh, a Dremel type tool and uh, I've found that these work really well and uh, stay legible even in direct contact with wet soil for many years. So these vinyl gutter tags uh, they start off with just a u-shaped piece of vinyl like this one uh, that I then cut up into long strips. To uh, cut the vinyl gutter into an appropriate uh, size uh, for a strip, what I just do is I take a uh, box cutter like this one uh, that I also use for grafting trees and just cut a line down the length of the gutter. For a standard gutter, uh, a U-shaped gutter, I'll usually be able to get about seven strips out of it. So I'm able to make a whole bunch of tags from a single 10-foot uh, piece of gutter. Then, after I've gone over, uh, made a line in this uh, gutter, uh, twice with the box cutter, I'll then try and bend it like so. Sometimes it requires another cut. So, I'm able to get another nice strip of vinyl. Take the box cutter again, cut it on the opposite side. And I have a very nice strip of vinyl uh, that can be used uh, at, for uh, tags. The next step is to use a Dremel or rotary tool such as this one to etch the name of the cultivar into the strip of vinyl gutter. Uh, be sure to include a small hole in uh, the end of the tag so that a uh, wire can be thread through so that uh, the tag can be attached to the tree. Uh, when etching uh, vinyl gutters, uh, it makes a, a mess with a, a whole bunch of little tiny uh, pieces of vinyl going everywhere. So what I like to do is uh, just get an old uh, cardboard box and uh, do all the etching in, uh, in there to uh, try and keep the, uh, the mess to a minimum. So I'll just uh, go ahead and show you how I uh, uh, etch this tag. It doesn't take too long. There you go, a, uh, the tag. It's got a hole at the end so the wire can be uh, thread through for attaching this uh, tag to the tree. And then the name of the uh, tree has been etched into the vinyl tag. The next step is to round off the corners of the tag. I like to use a, a pair of tin snips and just uh, make the corners a little bit rounded. I do this just to uh, decrease the number of uh, sharp edges on the tag. Hopefully that uh, helps protect the tree a little bit. 
The next step is an optional one uh, that I like to do, which is to go over the etching with a permanent marker. Now, the, uh, the main reason I do this is so that it's easier to identify the name of the tree from a distance. Uh, the marker will wear off in, I would say, two or three years, uh, and then you'll be just left with the etching. But uh, for the first two or three years, uh, it does make it a little bit easier to identify the tree from, you know, maybe a little bit further away. You don't actually have to get up close to uh, see the name of the cultivar. To connect the tag to the tree, I use a piece of uh, wire. I think this was originally supposed to be used for uh, electric fence. I think it's range wire. And uh, it's about uh, 10 inches long. And it's got a, uh, put a little bit of a uh, hook at the end there. Then feed one end through the tag. Bend the other end in the opposite direction. And then loop them form them into a, a nice circle and kind of clamp down the edges or the ends of the uh, wire. And uh, so this is a, a very sturdy wire and uh, it won't break off. Uh, that is uh, very good, but it's also somewhat uh, concerning because uh, anything that's uh, robust enough to last several years is also robust enough to uh, girdle a tree. So I do need to change the uh, position of the tags every few years, uh, maybe every three to four years.